Hey, top of the morning to you. Pardon the dew. Ain't been up very long. It's a beautiful morning out here. Look at this. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, I got a good word for you this morning right here. And uh, where are we at? We're in Galatians 5. It says right here in 5, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. And do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So don't be entangled with the yoke of bondage, all that stuff that drug you down back in the world. Once you've been delivered, once you've said your sinner's prayer and you've given your life to God, and then you go and you get baptized, um, there's a liberty that comes from Christ, not some statue out there in New York Harbor. That is not true at all. That is not the Statue of Liberty at all. That was actually another statue that was actually being built for the Panama Canal. That's right. And when them people could not afford it, the United States stepped up and bought it and called it the Statue of Liberty. When it's actually the Statue of Starde. That's right. It's a false, fake deity that doesn't matter to anybody or anyone. And here it is right there in the harbor at uh, New York City. See, there is no new thing under the sun. Just like they were erecting statues back in the day and uh, putting them up all over the place and worshiping them, so do we. Do we not pledge allegiance to the flag? Mm, there's a form of worship right there. So listen, y'all have a good day and just remember this. It's Christ that brought us liberty, not some big copper statue. Jesus Christ brought the liberty. Jesus Christ brought the salvation, brought the love, the peace, the charity, and the judgment. So read your Bibles. Please read your Bibles and have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name, amen.